Hey, so as you know, season two is over, but in the upcoming weeks, starting this one, we'll be posting snippets from all the episodes, from all the guests. And, but you know, uh, and we'll also be unveiling when season three is coming out, which is going to be this year. So you don't have to wait too long, no more. But, but yeah, this episode is a bonus episode, which means that we'll, we gathered content from many episodes and, but specifically, answering the question that i always ask at the end of each episode which is what's your goal in life and what do you want to be remembered for and yeah so here it goes the first guest is alex gandinic that's a cool question you know uh it, it's really not really business it's uh i i really like art and that's why i always talk about my music uh because i try to make something really beautiful now I'm going to say right now, my music is not that beautiful, but <laughs> my goal is, is to make something really beautiful when somebody like listens to it or comes across it, they're like, you know, mind blown, you know, that mm -hmm. there's some songs that are like just say, to heaven or yeah. just like, uh, you know, maybe some Beatles songs, like you have, your life is one way before you hear the song, you hear the song. <laughs> Your life is different after you hear Changes, this song. Yeah. I want to make this. This is what I want to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you you won't be one of you remembered for your courses or your books, m music. Yeah, right? because I th I think creating as a c kind of creative person, you know, the courses they're logical, the books are logical, business is logical. I think uh, in creative space. I think when you're doing like it, there's an extra levels of creativity to make something really move a person beyond, you know, just the career stuff, you know, I think it's a different level of being better level of sharing humanity. You know, I think it's a better space to be and I don't know how to phrase it. I would do, you know, Beatles or great artists than great business person any day, any day of the week. Okay. The upcoming guest is Amadeus. The first answer that comes to my mind is um, to exactly to rephrase actually your question and saying, okay, I want to be remembered for something. And I think, you know, that that's that's the biggest problem because most people believe, or, or it's also the truth, it's a reality that if people, let's say, pass away or if people are not there anymore, for what do we remember? How quickly do we forget them? And I think this is the, the thing most of the young people strive for. It's not only the money, it's not only the kind of things you can buy with all of that money. It's really to, to you know, to, 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 to stay, to, to, to keep a legacy on this, on this world, even though you might not be there at one point. Um, yeah, so, so I really believe leaving something back on the planet, I can be remembered. And the next one is Abhishek. I don't know, this may sound like cheesy, but like my goal in life would be just to like honestly live a happy life and like give the people around me a happy life. Like wow. that would be the goal in life. And then, yeah, like business wise, I really like to grow this to like the scale of like American companies. And like mm -hmm. I'd honestly then like to just um, start a car dealership because I'm really into cars. Oh, wow. And then. Okay. That would be like my second business and start a car dealership and like a finance company. And I'm just like, yeah. Just to, <laughs> yeah, to have it all. Professor Fisher, I love this. Okay, <laughs> here it goes. I did not enter teaching of having like this, you know, burning, you know, some people say, oh, I had this desire to teach from the get. Yeah, that wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> I came to it later. And uh, I won't say that I would never return to the private sector. Mm -hmm. Um, I have had in the years that I've been teaching some students, um, some graduate students are like, Hey, would you ever be interested in this or interested in that? And I say, Hey, I'll invest, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, evaluate opportunities as they come around. So in making that statement of what I think is, is next seems like, Oh, you're committed to teaching. I, I still keep the options open. Yeah. And if a recruiter ever calls up, I always take the call okay. or, you know, at least I mean, not all, but you know, the idea that you always evaluate the opportunity and if something attractive comes around that I think um, would be exhilarating and, 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 and fun and exciting, then, then I'll pursue it. So 
for now, I enjoy teaching and who knows, this may be what I do to the end of my days, but maybe not either. Um, I find that if I look back on my own professional history um, and even thinking about, yeah, the full trajectory of it, I can only do the same thing for about two to two and a half years. And there better be a new challenge. Otherwise I get bored and I'll wanna go do something else. And um, so like I said, teaching allows me to uh, not get bored um, yeah. or at least academia is and, 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 mm -hmm. and some degrees teaching, but academia is probably the better, better terminology for that. But um, uh, my friend Dennis, let, let her go. Where do you see yourself living in, in, in the, the near future? Oh uh, man, that's a good question. Yeah. Well, so let me tell you, when I first came to San Francisco, so my, my dream since I was like, you know, 10 years old was to live in California. I mm -hmm. right? I didn't know, I didn't know anything about San Francisco. I love Los Angeles just because of Hollywood of, you know, whatever I saw in the movies. Yeah. And then of course, because you know, uh, our school and everything, San Francisco. When I first came here, it, it was a really big culture shock because of what you just mentioned. The homelessness, uh, the, the dirt in the streets, the syringes, the feces, the, the I don't know, anything else, the nudity, anything in this in the city. But uh, I think in the near future, man, I don't know. I think I'm going to probably be in San Francisco for another year or two. Or at, le at least, let's say, I hope I'm here for another year or two. Mm -hmm. Just because the way I see it, um, we as students graduating soon, I'd rather not move somewhere right away. Mm -hmm. because I already know we've already established a network here we already know some people here we already have things kind of laid out here yeah. so rather build on those do something for a year or two here with those connections but as you said for the near future if we're talking one year or two then yes I do kind of see myself in San Francisco uh, but after that I really don't I honestly just see myself in the US for another couple of years and then I don't know it's a um... yeah an unknown future Okay, here it is, Ben. If you think about, you know, 10 years ago, people would say, like, what do you want on your, on your gravestone, right? Now it's like, you know, how do you want to be remembered, like, on social media? Um, you know, do you, want, do you want to be remembered, like, jumping off a building drunk into a pool, like, during your college days? Or do you want to be remembered for all the good that you did in the world and how you help people and make it a better place for everybody else around you? Um, that's why we're inviting people to be part of this, this company. It's a people centric platform where, where people can, you know, um, you know, turn a lot of the negative that's in social media into good. Um, and, you know, if you look back and you see, like, imagine your kids looking at you at some of the stuff, and maybe you didn't do all the crazy stuff that a lot of people are doing right now, but, you know, imagine them looking at you and saying, Hey, what did you, why did you do that stuff back then? Right. Why didn't you help society? Why didn't you, move things forward when there was these movements, when they, there was these chances to do it. Mm. Uh, you know, we always look back at like our, you know, you even look back at your grandparents or something and like they, they either fought in the war or they didn't fight in the war and we're, and we're always like, well, why did you, why didn't you like, or, or, or whatever it is, or what side were you on or, or how could you let this happen? Right. Type of thing. Yeah. Um, it's really, how do you want to be remembered? And charity helps you build that and take back that social influence, you know? So I see this as being a huge turning point in society where people start taking back their social influence, demanding that brands donate money because of them to create better relationships um, and then buy products in a whole new way. And, and I see that this will have an effect for, for decades and in, 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 um, you know, centuries to come, hopefully, but it'll be remembered forever because it's never going away. Your digital footprint is never going away. So um, the ability to start tracking it now um, and realizing the benefits of it now, but then realizing later that this is going to create an entire story for you that's going to be shared for generations after you're gone. And the next one is our now. I think what I want to be remembered is to have helped a lot of people as much as I could. I don't want to be... I remember to be a successful guy or, or all this stuff. I want to be remembered that, that a person that with what he has done, he has been able to help a lot of people. And I think this would be like the greatest, the greatest thing. 
And here we have Ambrose. Yeah, very great, great question because it's sometimes it, we, we forget about the most important stuff in life. Um, our, uh, my, my vision and the, the, um, and the vision of the company uh, I, I run, Kudos, is to empower people. So that is to by building products for them very fast and very um, uh, in a very you know accurate, accurate way of what they want. But it's also to help other people that are less fortunate that, than us. You know, um, maybe build a new life, uh, learn a new job, and um, you know help um, you know uh, people in the streets maybe get a, get a house. And the way we do things is that low code is, is a great opportunity for anyone to learn a new job, you know, learn how to code, learn how to build products. And that's what we actually do uh, at Kudos. We train new people uh, that want to learn how to become a low code developer. Uh, and we onboard them and we give them a salary, we give them a job and that will, you know, that allows them to get a new house, get a family, live comfortably. You know, it's, it's uh, I mean, it, what, what's the point of building a company if we don't have some social aspect behind it, you know? And th that's why I said, you know, you, you need to keep what, you know, to remember what's important in life and how you can really make an impact, positive one uh, on mm -hmm. the world. And I think it's, it's one of, you know, it's one of them. Okay, so Andy is the next one. If you'd have asked me, if you'd have asked me probably five years ago, I'd have said, remembered for being a brilliant marketer and give, be providing brilliant experiences to, uh, to customers and prospects um, and, and, and showing that we really care. I care, the organization cares. That's slightly changed. And I think now I, I, I want to pass on my experience and my knowledge and make people who, are, uh, who want to go into marketing, passionate about marketing, make them a better marketer. Okay. That's what I want. That's do. amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. It is amazing. I feel like I will contact you you at some point soon, Andy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important because because I think that the, the textbooks, I think the academics, I think yeah. that, yes, it's very easy to talk to people in terms of this is what you should do, but the realities are very different, very different. And, and if I can help someone, then that that would make me yeah. happy. And finally, Prashant. That's a good one. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I had I had like a really ballsy answer to this when I was like when I was young and like full of steam in my head, like no, like with yeah. a big ego. But I mean, I, I guess it's still it's still uh, it's toned down a bit. But I guess one of the number one things I wanted to do like with my life is um, like build something that that just lives on, whether it's on the internet or like something that's like valuable, and, like so that I feel like my life was worth living. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, especially given that I spend more than like. I mean, like eighty percent of my adult life just like studying and learning, programming and software, and like being mm. in school. I, I would like to like spend the rest of my life building something, using all of that knowledge um, in a way that just that that's memorable. You know, like and like twenty years, like I want to build like I, I guess like I'd love to build like a really valuable company for that impacts people or like builds like a really cool product that other people get value from for the long run. Cool. Uh, would the company company be uh, last bit or or? I hope so. Yeah, that's, that's hopefully. Cool. I mean. We're, we're, we're putting all our eggs in this basket at this point at least cool so yeah thanks a lot for listening and watching it on youtube or wherever you're listening it uh, on you on spotify as well yeah don't forget to subscribe you know follow us on spotify up podcast youtube or wherever and yeah make sure to check it out bye-bye see you next time